Hello guys and welcome to Behind the Bunker here, episode 449, podcast 313. My name is Todd Ensich. <laughs> With me I have as uh, perturbed as ever Josh Subi Zabrikas. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Listen and rewind, and huh? I guarantee it'll okay. be much it's better. It's so loud right now. It is, now. but gar- listen and rewind. Um, um, I don't know how I'm going to focus on screwing up everybody's last names if the music is so I loud. got your prescription of focus in, by the way. <laughs> and uh, and uh, Joe Kimson from Flag Artist Paintball. Greetings, and thanks for tuning in. We are one week away from Paintball Extravaganza, and our picture's gone, but where did it go? That's okay. Oh, there it is. This is our last show. I always like saying that. Until next week when we're in Memphis. Get them all excited and then <laughs> Let disappoint them. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, speaking of disappointment, Gavin Sharma. Absolutely, folks. I am here. Thank you so much, friends, for tuning in. And um, Matt, the, the Crip, I'm going to ask for a slight aside. And if you can indulge me for a second. Mm-hmm. Everybody who is tuning in right now is my friend. Who are not my friends are everybody who's sitting in this room right now, and so I'm going to air some grievances. So I tuned in. is it is it Festivus again? So I tuned into the show last week, <laughs> and I heard men- I here? heard mention that you know I wasn't here because I had a work function, but that's not what you guys said. <laughs> you guys said I was not here because I had syphilis. <laughs> Son of a bitch! You guys know I'm single, right? I thought we called nobody, you the gonorrhea. Nobody's gonna swipe on me. I thought you had me. gonorrhea from that tractor ride. <laughs> yes. You know I hate all of you jerks, and I'm like I'm I'm only showing up here to throat punch you all. But I appreciate everybody who's tuned in, and no, I do not have syphilis. <laughs> uh, well, all right, thank we'll, you. We'll scratch that, that from the podcast. <laughs> So, you know you can't say scratching. Either, right? <laughs> Let's just move on. Okay. Itching. Sorry. This is what we're going to do to prove Gavin's theory. We're going to leave the camera static on Gavin all night because I can tell he's already wanting to itch when we take him <laughs> off camera. We're going to see how long he'll last. <laughs> no sip. No, no sip. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys for joining us. Um, Matt's watching your live comments on Facebook. So if you guys have anything uh, interesting to say, he'll put it up on the screen for you guys. Nice to see all you guys. Nice to see Devin Schwartz, Mike Holstrom, James Lindsay, Brian Foster, uh, Kathy Wilson, and uh, Richie Rampage Santos, just to name a few. So thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, I see a lot of you guys moving on over to YouTube as well. Let us know tonight with the uh, new internets we have. Let me know how it looks and sounds on both, if you guys don't mind. Uh, a couple things in the news this week of paintball, and there's really not much. But did you guys see this? Our good friend Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas Sloyak moved over to the Iron Man. But doesn't he work for GI? Yes, but he plays. For the Iron That's Man, interesting. That conflict, huh. of, conflict of interests. Not sure. Well, I don't know. So I we'll find out. Maybe we'll send him a message and congratulate him. But also, with get that him. beard, I'm not entirely sure it matters. <laughs> I don't think it does. Um, And the new Lux X has their pro frame, guys. I don't know if you know this or not. They posted this up the other day. I thought it was cool. Toolless disassembly, rapid removal, stainless steel fasteners. Not stainless steel hardware, just stainless steel fasteners and rebuildable for life. Very cool. Let's check them out. While we're on the topic of those guys, Iron City Classic. Did you guys hear that it took four minutes to sell out 70 teams? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, let craziness. me act. Let me act surprised by that. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> yeah, genre of the future, maybe. Genre. Maybe. Um, last two weeks, we asked you guys to tune in, and um, oh, there we go. Sorry, Mark Holstrom says Iron Men are sponsored by GI for paint. All right, ah, thank you for connecting thank the you, dots, Mike Holstrom. Yeah, I'm thanks gonna... for knowing so much more than we know, Mike. Astronaut <laughs> knower. Next week, tune in to Mike Holstrom live on Monday nights. On Behind the Bunker when he gets the whole channel. Breaking news. Somebody (laughs) who actually has something to contribute. Maybe we'll let Mike Holstrom just hijack the channel for a week. Please do. Yeah, yeah. Bricktop's in the house! Ah. And uh, I only like Bricktop at lunch. He is filling. He is filling. Um, Last two weeks, we asked you guys to tune in to win our carbon pack. We want to congratulate. I know last week, we uh, it was hard to hear last week, but it was Rin Kaz that won that. So congratulations. Hey, congrats. Hey, Rin Wonderful Kaz. That has, he's already been in contact with us, and we've already sent it out. So when you do get it, Rin, make sure that you uh, snap some pics and uh, send that in to us. 
Um, this came in from Ryan McGee. He says, uh, per Zuby, just wondering if I've installed my anti-theft device uh, that you guys provided correctly. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no one's stealing that laptop. If you really want to make sure, get a Sharpie right, right on the top. I love behind the bunker. Guaranteed. If you want to make sure nobody steals it and you can't sell it, we'll sign it. Mm. It will absolutely destroy your, reta- or your resale value. Mm-hmm. So... Ted Reitz and RDAV on YouTube says it looks oh, yeah. and sounds so great. Uh, but RDAV also says, uh, well, the quality of the stream and the podcast content, meh. There, then he's getting everything that he needs then. You That's can't cross good. streams. Can't cross streams. <laughs> cross yeah, everybody's swords. a comedian on YouTube. There yeah, you know. yeah. Um, I say hey, YouTube, this. why don't you like and share the show? Oh, wait. Hang on. Yeah. Smash that like button. Yeah, and uh, hit that notification bell. Jared. Harsma on Facebook uh, posted this. Work in progress. Hashtag MG100 Planet Eclipse 3D. What is what that? Is that? It know. looks like a magazine, but then you can put on what? Is that t- to the end of having a hopper on it? I don't know. I'm confused. No, from the I angle that I'm on, that looks like something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is a little curved, to the, curved up, isn't it? You so, dressed left or right. So dark. <laughs> Smelly. <laughs> Smelly. Oh. Smellovision? <laughs> Sorry, Jorrit. All right, moving on to the next picture. Is this... it like a warp feed type thing? I think so. Where you put a hopper on It the looks side? like it, yeah. Then yeah. it's brilliant. <laughs> Bill Barnes wants to know how does one get stickers? If you live local, come ask. If you come don't. Come at me, bro. Yeah, if you come at me, bro. If you don't live local, send us a self-addressed stamped envelope and we'll cram it full of stickers and put it back in the mail cram for you. Cram it! <laughs> <laughs> so, a notification on my Facebook page. I don't know how many years ago it was, but this popped up. This was this week, many years ago. It's our 200th episode, wasn't it? That was our 100th episode. 100? Wow. Look at yeah. that. So, t- going left to right, there's yes. Matt the Crypt. Mm-hmm. There's Dustin Prebeard Schnitzelholst. Yep. There's uh, the cat himself. There's Jack, our first intern, Jack Wan. There's Chris Hazard with his lady friends. Um, myself, Josh, with a fledgling beard. Uh-huh. Joe, with the same hairstyle. Yep. And uh, that was Chris. Chris East- Christopher Easton. He was an intern as well. He was. He was. Well. Yeah, yeah. Where was Gavin? Not the Gavin art? was actually working that evening. I remember that. Oh, really? Yeah. Because, yeah. yeah. uh, Josh, you created those uh, ACU those bow, bow ties. ties. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I still have mine. It's in the top so throw of that, uh, that bureau over there. So I actually a... made a tie as well. That's right. I'm going to get you some altering tiger stripe. I'm going to get some tiger stripe material. You can make us tiger stripe bow ties. They sell, um, <laughs> they sell multi-ca- seashells by the seashore. Multicam neckties. Do they? Yeah. yeah. But I think uh. I have some t- altering tiger stripe material in a twill. I could use a, <laughs> a, a necktie and a... Uh, Joe's still writing with his quill. In a pocket square? <laughs> with your twill. I, 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 like the stuff they wore in Nam. But thank you for helping me. Thanks Josh, I was just doing the pocket yeah. square universal sign. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, got, I got what you're putting out. Tracy wants to know the address. Just DM us, and we'll, we'll send you out the mailing Slide address. Slide into those I don't DMs. want to give out Gavin's mailing address over the air. Not with my syphilis. Not when he's in. Not it, when, yeah. It is important <laughs> to know that all BTB stickers that we send out are hand-drawn. Yeah, yeah. And you'll be able to find us all children. next week in Memphis, Tennessee at the, where are we staying, Todd? The Hilton Garden? <laughs> Why do I even yeah, show up? Where are we staying? <laughs> Here, let me let me go to this. Where We're, are we going next week? Crown Plaza, Memphis. Crown, come East. and visit East. us. Yeah, that's Crown. at Paintball Extravaganza. And, and Shrek will be there as well. Yes, I saw that. That's that's great. Just posted that up in the um, Crown Plaza. Whatever this thing is that scrolls on the right hand side of my chat form. Along East. with our um, masks, our breathing masks, we'll bring a pocket full of stickers, each of us, so that uh, if you guys see us at Extravaganza, stickers, just reach cards. in and grab a handful. Yeah, don't even ask. Just reach in and get it for yourself because Gavin's pretty busy. Just if you see him, just slide in. That's and, right. Uh, oh, whoops, other pocket. <laughs> Rick Charts is not too late to register. That's all right. excellent. I have some stuff to read. All right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have a read. Breaking news. This comes to us from Rick Chard himself. Richard Chard. Not too late to get re-registered for Paintball Extravaganza International. Pre-register and check in faster upon arrivals in Memphis. Registrations accepted in Memphis. So if you drive down in your car or fly into Memphis, Helicopter, you can register, whatever. walk in and register just like we accept at Paintball Fields globally. 
Walk-ins are always welcome. There are a limited number of sessions remaining for the Monday Paintball University session. Classes are filling up and others are nearing fill. Don't miss out on your desired sessions like the buffet breakfast in mm, the morning session. Oh, I thought he said the desire sections. <laughs> the <laughs> latest exhibit a list is posted on Facebook and there are 43 exhibitors. If you're driving into Memphis and you're bringing your automobile, free parking at the Crown Plaza Memphis East. Limited seating is available at the industry luncheon. Come to that is your paintball business 25, 30, or 35 year old? Don't miss the industry recognition program Tuesday night. Get at recognized. The welcome party. Get recognized. This is all happening at Paintball Extravaganza. Extravaganza. Very nice. Yeah, I'm. I'm super excited. We'll talk more about Extravaganza later in the program. We will. All right. Well, I think we should. Sure I think we should I. separate it up. We should probably talk about it a couple of times. A couple of times. Um, if you guys are listening to us at home, you have a couple of different methods to do so. You can, if you can't watch us the whole time on YouTube or Facebook, you can listen to us in podcast form. We're available wherever you get your podcasts, iTunes, Podomatic, SoundCloud, Stitcher, all that great stuff. But you can also come over here and listen to us on the RTF Sports Network uh, through your uh, devices as well. So thank you to the RTF Sports Network for having us on syndication out there as well. Um, I'm not sure what you guys are doing tomorrow, but if you're close to Flag Artist Paintball, we are having our time trials from oh. 5.30 till 9 tomorrow. And uh, we are. this is the last night of the way the layout is. It's been up for two weeks already. So you have one last sh- chance to beat the top scores. That's right. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have in my... Uh, my sack of goodness. Lorenzo's there. Hello, Lorenzo. Oh, Lorenzo Wade. Sammy Barney. Uh, he says, which one of the three N- NXL teams, oh, you just went away, uh, do you think will do the best this year, Energy or ACD? I think ACD is a lot of all three, to be honest with you. Wrong. Really? <laughs> Iron Man. The answer is always <laughs> Iron Man. Always Iron yes. Man. And now they have a new player. Ben Challenger. AC Dallas does. Uh, Diesel. AC Diesel. Yep. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, so, Iron Man have a new player in it called Nicholas Soliak. We're all not on the same page tonight. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Too many damn chats. I'm like, I have my. You got YouTube Tinder open, chat. you've got. Yes. Yeah, what are you swipey, doing, swipey. Man? <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? Why don't we uh, go right on into mail time? And mail that way we time. can all get involved in uh, what's going on here. Gavin, I gave you. Oh, your questions are right here. <laughs> right. Why don't while we railroad did Gavin you see the panic? for a while? Okay, while we're waiting for Gavin, I want to tell you guys. I put a, a happiest day of the week. I walked in tonight and thought I haven't checked the mail. Went out front, and yet another PB swag package arrived, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys would like paintball stuff, stent. What, what's a similar service? Loot crate. Uh, there's a bunch of uh, mail crates. Uh, Shaven. Nice Most importantly, Ooh, where are you go now. <laughs> Shaven Haven. Or Most something. importantly, <laughs> now you can get a subscription to Black Rifle Coffee, which, aside from swag bag for paintball, is the most important subscription you can have. Yeah, yeah. So if you want paintball stuff sent to your house every month, sign up for four PB swag bag. So look at this. Without even Whoa. look at this, I'm already at a win here. I got a barrel made, which will be uh, stolen before you leave the studio. <laughs> I was gonna say, I can't wait till we play next week. I got anti Gavin hater sauce. What is that? Hater sauce. I need to apply that to my body lube. before walking in. And then uh, something else from Exalt. It's nice when Exalt is in these. Oh. Some, Damn, uh, son. Large oh, elbow pads. Those are the good ones. Yeah, these are the good ones. So thank you very much to PB Swag, guys. Uh, I've signed up. You guys should do, too. Every month, a package comes to your door. And uh, look at that even little sticker. I'll put that on the back of Gavin my phone. Gavin was just swiping so he could be the package at the door. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> After show, guys. Why Save it for the again? after okay, show. Okay, why are you going to be like, again, I'm still single, and you're not helping the cause. Ah, <laughs> swipey, swipey. Does anyone else hear that? that the, the scratching noise? <laughs> Is that why Gavin I keeps sitting? Above the table. <laughs> Is that why Gavin keeps sitting upright all the time? Yeah. Uh, Gavin, what do you have for questions? I know a couple guys sent in some questions. Do I not have a theme song anymore? Mail time. Mail what the time. Hell? No, I know I it's know. not. I missed uh, one <laughs> week. All right. A letter came in the mail for you today. Last week. It was fantastic. <laughs> All right, so this is the time where I get to rip open my sack and not Joseph's sack and read some of the correspondence you, my friends, have sent in. So we only have a small sack this evening. Uh, clearly it was a busy weekend. It is weekend. cold out. Yeah. The Polar Plunge was this weekend recently. True. This weekend recently? 
this weekend. Uh, past weekend. The floor or the floor recognizes. No, uh, uh, Eric. Todd. Eric Hill just asked a good follow up question. I apologize. He said, "How much greenbacks for the PB swag?" Someone will have to look that up. I think it's thirty nine bucks. Where's Matt? But they promised equal value of what you're paying or more. But that's swabs. Like twenty bucks, the Those grease is pads. more, and these elbow pads are worth more than that. I think I came out farther ahead than thirty nine dollars this week, and my old elbow pads. People have been telling me all, um, for months to get rid of them because they stank. Now I can. Now I can do it. Now I can put them on eBay. Now I can put them on eBay. No, we're, we're talking we're about on it you. next week. Later on in the show, guys, I'll tell you where you can get a used pair of elbow pads. Thirty seven ninety five. There you go. Is that go. Canadian or American dollars? American I'm dollar. Assume it's American dollars. Uh, I don't know. No. So and that over. lovely voice is our new intern, Matt Mondu, Matt Mondu. all the way microphone. from Quebec. All right. So the first yeah, question. Matt, your French accent. So this is still the mail time segment. He brought so. his own, by the way. Let him read his shit. <laughs> all right. So his own <laughs> and you're, what, you're listening to us right now on the RTS Sports Network. <laughs> and all those beeps you hear are Joe. Uh, so the first question comes to us from Ryan McGee. And Ryan wants to know, what is the furthest distance you will travel to go to a game? Would or have? Would. Well, I would happily go overseas to some of those big games where they were zodiacing people in and doing some nonsense there. Yeah, buddy. I would have happily have gone to Malaysia to play for some of those speedball tournaments. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. That's a long flight. How long was the flight to Malaysia? 28 hours, Mundu? How long did those guys take? I know Dusty would be able to answer that, yeah, but it was like remember. 28 yeah, hours yeah, well, or something. Australia is like 24. Australia. Yeah. So I don't know. What about you guys? How far would you go for paintball? Half body will travel. Um, there's no <laughs> distance too far. As long as I have some time off Tear Tech, I, um, I'm game to go anywhere. Yeah. What about you, Josh? You've been to Oregon. That's as far as I think you've gone, right? Um, but maybe. Maybe. But you know what? In in Zuby's defense, Oregon isn't really just Oregon, because when you fly from where, from where we fly, it's like a flight and then another flight, and the only flights that come home are super duper red eyes. Yeah. So it feels like it's farther. It's not fun. No. No, that home that flight home, except for this past year when we were in first class, that <laughs> was really really nice. Mm-hmm. If we do that flight again, I'm more than willing to pay for that first ass. Yeah, first ass on the way home. I had so much room, I could have thrown on a paintball mask and done press ups in the front of the plane because there's just nobody there. What? Huh? Yeah. yeah. That's good. Huh? What? <laughs> I was letting huh? you have the floor. Yeah. Sure. Uh, when I you let you speak, talk? I get crapped on. When I don't I... let you speak, I get crapped on. And our death? <laughs> no, I'm not on Tinder, you jerk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm watching the YouTube chats right now, and you know what? Screw you guys. Like, why Hobies do I show up? Grinders. Why do you have to do that? <laughs> why you got to be like that, Art? Why you got to be like that? All right. Next question comes to us from Bobby Benjamin. What is a quality dump pouch for MagFed games? Condor makes one. Uh, Mi- a micro. Yeah, the, the mini one, the, the micro one. micro dump pouch folds up nice and small so you can pack it away. But That's it what I up. have. Yeah. No. The micro, um, I would say the micro dump pouch. I have seen a gentleman at Flag Earners use a canvas grocery bag. That worked uh, for very, pods. very well. Yes. For pods. Yeah. So yeah. for a big game. But he yeah, yeah, actually I, had it for mags once. Did he? Yeah. I, we, I use a micro and I find it uh, sufficient for it holding at least seven mags dumped. Yeah. Uh, which is enough for a, uh, before you need refueling anyway. Here's a question. I just for you guys. use mine from, from Nam. <laughs> Here's a question for you guys canvas. about I your mags. One. But before that, I want to give a shout out to David, who's watching us from Malaysia right now. Nice. We were just talking about Malaysia. Yeah, yeah. Talk to your tournament organizers or your big game organizers and have them reach out. Isn't there anything better to do in Malaysia than watch this? No. They got to stay inside. <laughs> yeah, really. You're trapped right. inside. We should, oh, yeah. We should have an extra long show for the people in Asia that are watching. So you guys are talking about mag mag and dump pouches. Dump pouches if you yeah. have that many mags for dump pouch, my question is to you guys, how many mags do you have or carry on if you're going out for a campaign or a big game? Because I, I like, yeah. How many do you guys have, Joe? I carry nine. I carry seven on me. Six in the best one of the gun. I have eight, unless I find more on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Todd, All right, ha- Todd. How about you? I don't. Or, I, I, exactly. I, don't, I have loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loser. 
I have the same amount of mags that came with my gun. So if I were to play, I would just never borrow shot. From... <laughs> <laughs> and let me guess, they're brand new in box. Right. Yeah. Although I do have a mag that I found in the parking lot that dragged, looked like it dragged about twenty feet, and uh, I gave it to a couple guys to try, and it was working. So. Oh, did you? No, that was mine. You haven't been to the indoor and. In... Oh, at the indoor. Oh, days. The indoor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Days. Hey, I I was there last month. Speaking yeah. of days yeah. and David, how about David Jenneru? Who Dave. wants to know: Do people still buy memberships at Fields, and are they worth it? No matter Joe we saying that right, being a French name, Jenneru. Jenneru, mon Dieu, Jenneru. I have no idea. I always thought it was Jenneroux. 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 Like the ox court. No. Matt's the second worst Frenchman we've ever met. <laughs> All right, hey, question, damn it. Yeah. We stop bashing the French and we lose half of Ontario. There, when the, in there the he is right there, Dave Jenner-Ox. All right, so do people buy memberships at a field, and is it worth it? We sell a good number of memberships. I think our memberships that we sell, we don't sell enough of them because they're $100 for the year. They work at both the indoor and the outdoor. Each time you play, it's $5, and your paint is reduced, and you get 10% off stuff in the store. So it's a good value. You only have to play, was it, three and a half times and get a bag of 500 and it pays for your membership. I, I think as a, as a player, you need to buy a membership because you're going to save money in the long run. Yeah. Plus, most field owners that I know use their membership money for field building. So if you want to improve your field, that's the best way to do it. And you know what? Like, yeah, it's a little bit of money outlay, but uh, if you're going to save money, like how many times do you guys play? More than three times a year. So you've already paid for your own memberships. I think it's worth it. Uh, agreed. I mean, if you want to play paintball and you're not even loyal, but if you just want to save some money, then absolutely membership's the way to go. Membership. Mm-hmm. Membership. Yeah. Dave, you got to get a membership, buddy. That's right. Buddy. So, so what we're saying, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Yeah, buddy. Hey, whatever happens, happens. Mm. All right, another. That should be a hashtag. As I reach around in my sack, Ryan McGee has another hashtag question for you, us. Buddy. So he goes, when are you guys going to do another funny slash interesting team name segment? I'm going to post that up next week. I love that. As soon as he said that, I thought, you know what? That should be our next topic. So next week, watch for that in the in the on the Facebook feed and in the Instagram feed. And uh, if you guys have any clever names or interesting team names you guys heard of, I still think my still my favorite one is uh, the Master Invaders with the dark with the Darth Vader uh, jerseys. Yeah, but yeah, we'll post it up. Let you guys uh, post up. And uh, speaking of which, tonight we're going to get to our topic a little bit later on, and that is um, what is, what is single handedly or, or singly the only gun that you think was the best paintball gun ever manufactured. Um, so we'll get to that. And uh, before we do, I want to tell you guys about my friends over at Planet Eclipse. Did you know that they are the creators of the most incredible tournament paintball markers, soft goods, and gear? They have the winningest paintball markers in paintball and now innovators in mechanical actions, including the new M170R and MG100 MagPed Marble. And I shouldn't say new anymore because they've been out for a little while, but that tell you, that M170R, especially if you were one of the, the 70 teams that... Uh, Help sell out the Iron City Classic in four minutes. Get yourself an M170R. You will be the happiest player on the field. EG is the world's leading manufacturer of smoke grenades, thunder flash, airsoft, and paintball grenades for use in theater, film, photography, and, of course, paintball. Pull a tab at your next event. Hashtag pop smoke. She needs a dump pouch for all of her spent casings there. And Arabs are proudly made in the U.S. of way A. Their thick welded seams, stainless steel hardware, multiple color options and layouts are available. 2020 fields are shipping, but also ask for full color printing and custom logo options. Customize your next field with Arabs. Ooh. Ooh. Ruthless Paintball Products caters to both professional players and weekend warriors. They have set a new level of paintball playing apparel. You can head over to their website now and use our promo code of BTB15 for 15% off their products. And more than just swabs and pads, Exalt is a way of life. Available to discerning retailers, field shops, and shows. They are tournament ready, battle proven. Exalt. In the beginning, you <laughs> fall <laughs> out of a <laughs> tree, <laughs> <and you> stumble <laughs> down a rocky cliff, you wait chest deep through a mosquito infested bog. And you realize you're surrounded. It's party time. Now you own a Tipman. Now combine Empire, JT, Tipman, and V-Force. You get the world's largest distributor of everything paintball, GI Sports. DLX Technologies, guys. The manufacturer of the Lux paintball marker, as well as other great product offerings like the SP Shocker, the Gog Enemy, and the Freak Barrels. A longtime paintball manufacturer. They have the product that you can trust, and their product is outstanding. 
For over 50 years, Altama has proudly carried militaries from across the globe through every challenging environment, including malls, jungles, deserts, urban battle zones. Make Altama your next paintball, airsoft, or everyday shoe. Look for Altama Original Swat and First Tactical at a leading retailer in the year. Not all ninjas wear black with advanced colorways and coatings, yeah. adjustable regulators, remote lines, fill stations, hydro testing, and so much more. Ninja products have what it takes to keep you out front and always in the game. Made in America and always full of air. <laughs> like our reads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. So thank you guys. Please, please, please support our sponsors. If it wasn't for them, we would not be on the show aggravating you guys tonight. A um, couple of things I'd like to do tonight. I'd like to do paintball around the world maybe next. Whoa. And uh, after that, maybe Team Feature, since that's uh, your bag as well, Josh. Oh, we haven't done that in a while. Yeah. And then I want to get to the topic at hand is which is the best gun ever. And Richie Ranchi, Richie, 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 Richie Rampage, Rampage, Richie, Richie Santos Rampage. said A5 already. And I, I definitely agree with him. Uh, Marcelo says uh, paint, Planet Eclipse rules. Yeah, but what do you know? Yes, absolutely. I definitely agree with you, sir. Uh, and Lisa Weber simply says, hey, cupcake. <laughs> oh. Gavin looks up. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> yeah. All right. Gavin, uh, why do you keep swiping right so much on your phone? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> he caught you. All right, Josh, I'm ready when you are. How do you spell syphilis? <laughs> With a P. You do, uh, that's how you dictate into your phone, and you have to speak very loudly and clearly for it to spell it right. <laughs> Just a Gavin in the middle of Costco. Syphilis. Or on the bus. It's a good Itchy. place to do it. Yeah. Uh, first. I, go, sorry, go to WebMD, and it'll, it'll be the first search you bring up. But Todd's <laughs> Wi Fi brings up the first. Why do I even search? bother showing up? <laughs> this place know. sucks. <laughs> sorry, Gavin. All right. Can we, can we go now? <laughs> it's your <laughs> segment. The dead yeah. air is fantastic. All right. White River Paintball, the fall of Berlin, takes place March 20th through till 22nd. Yes, that's two great days of paintball. Uh, and don't forget, sign up for uh, Commander Matt Guru Walton. Good night, John uh, Boy. <laughs> next up, we have <laughs> Sherwood Forest Paintball hosts the Super Game, June 26th yeah. through till 28th. Your face is on the poster. I don't know why you're yawning. Is it? Yep. Ghost Recon Black Ops uh, Scenario Paintball event takes place May 2nd through to 3rd. And uh, you can sign up for Harvey Doc Rock or Eric That Guy Bryant. And if you're looking for something to do April 18th and 19th, why don't you go paintballing <laughs> at the Tour of Duty? <laughs> sure. Oh, why not? Man. <laughs> the best hype man ever. <laughs> well, okay. Do it. Seriously, if you read the list of names of people who are going to be there for that event, you should be there anyways. And August 23rd, you can head over to Hell Survivors for the Tom Clancy Ghost Recon game. And why not yell some Wolverines? March Wolverines! 1st Wolverines! at Red Dawn. That's a flag of course. Our winter big game. That one oh. is Jervich. We didn't start that one. Oh, this is a new one. Fold the gap. Hey, why not? November 6th through to 8th. Pre reg opens soon. And you can play for the Command Bros, who are, you know, the internet's greatest lunchtime show. What do you do? Or Archangel Mike, or whatever his name is. Yeah. April 25th through to 26th, Xbox versus PlayStation. And that's at Fort. Knox. We gotta get a field trip going to Fort Knox one of these days. I yeah. have PlayStation. Who has an Xbox? Losers. We're gonna, <laughs> bat- we're gonna battle it out. <laughs> I have a digital derby. Nice. I have I, no idea what that is. I have a PC Master Race comment, but I'll save that for later. And 2020 Scenario Wars. Uh, Invasion of Normandy takes place May 30th. June 20th. Is the Battle of the Pacific, so you can get your entire thing all together there and wrap it up with the NAM Tour of Duty on August 15th. And lastly, and but not least. Hell Survivor Monster Game. If you haven't heard of this one, it's because you've been living under a rock. And that's June 24th through to 26th. And why not join the red team? 
Sorry, yeah, I just want to say that uh, our dab in the YouTube chat has yeah. mentioned he is rather disappointed in the lack of posters with Joe's face on it. I know. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> it's like he's Agreed. never watched the show before. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, Gavin, you mentioned Digital Derby. Matt, put this on the screen for a second. Please tell me as a kid you oh, had one okay, of those. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, I, know that was I am looking for one of those. If anyone has one in good shape that still works, I would love to buy one <laughs> for good, no other reason uh, than just to... You guys are so old. That's I just good, want the sound effect. Do you remember the sound effect? Sound effect. When you in that red crash light yeah, hit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want one of those. Oh, there, there's a picture of it right Seriously? there. Seriously? Have you never played the Digital Derby before? Mm, I don't think Do I have. Do I look old? What the hell? Yeah. yeah. Well, Lorenzo <laughs> wants to know if there's a date for Paint Fest. Yes, Lorenzo. Well, Paint when did Fest that come out? Is the last Sunday in April? It is Sunday, April twenty-six. When did digital? No. When did digital derby come out? Uh, it was a long time ago. But what we should probably right, concern ourselves old. with is uh, team feature guys. Team feature. <laughs> We're featuring teams. You know what sucks, Todd? You have put no work into the intros of these. these I know. Uh, you know what? Segments. I feel so bad. Hey, Next, Gavin. Gavin, listen. If you hear it, you can actually hear Todd drop the ball. Team this is feature. almost a show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <sighs> Matt Mondu, our new intern, <laughs> said that he would build them. Don't, don't, don't bring blame the this. intern. This That's you. why the last Charles. seven quit. <laughs> all right, <sighs> Matt. Damn, oh, Tibor was supposed to do it. Josh, this is all you, buddy. Anticlimactic, oh, but it's all you. Jeez. Hustlers Paintball Academy HPA is going to be severely disappointed with this. They're compiled of over 50 Ontario paintball players uh, with a few from surrounding provinces. Not that they will hold that against them. Their home field is, of course, the one, the only Flag Raider. There's Big Shirtless Rod. They're spot. Wow. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Do you not remember that? Yes. Okay, Simpsons. go ahead. Sponsors are Alexander Slate. Uh, aesthetic anodizing, and of course, our friends at Ruthless Paintball. Yeah, good bunch of guys, ladies and gentlemen. Check them out. The Hustlers. They, yeah. I'm a hustler, baby. <laughs> Don't say a word. Don't you know? All right, what do we have next? We have uh, the topic. Let's chat about the topic, ladies and gentlemen. Let's so we're going to watch you guys in the live chat. And uh, if you're listening at home and rewind, don't feel bad to comment because we watch it uh, after, and sometimes we'll even rehash some of the old uh, the old topics if there's if there's good comments. But we want to know if there was one gun out there that you felt was the best gun ever manufactured. And I get that Model 98, and we're probably going to see that a hundred times. Model 98 was a staple of the industry, and it changed paintball as we know it. And every rental gun in the world or field has has Model 98s. We're kind of looking for more so sort of the most solid paintball gun, one that you've had the best experience with, one that you thought was built the best. Can we start this off with an asterisk for the Tipman C3? <laughs> what, that you shouldn't be included? Why? No, that it is the number one of all, and then this is just whoever came in a close second. <laughs> all right. Agreed? I love the C3. Exactly. I'm with you there we go. I love the C3 in the morning. Done and done. It smells it's like broken lunch. lunch. It smells like victory. Yeah. C3 was actually brought, was, was built by Coleman. Tipman just rebranded uh-huh. it. All right. <laughs> I can smell your BS from here. <laughs> Does it smell like propane? So Roger no. Weber says Model 98. Mike Holstrom says 08 Eagle. And I have to admit, I had an 08 Eagle, and it was fantastic. Um, RT Automag, ahead of its time, says Dan Black. Yeah. yeah. Would you guys agree with Totes. that? Totes. Agree. Yeah. Totes. Uh, Ryan McGee has no idea what we're talking about. Just says, what up, fellas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good enough. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. Good morning. So, good morning. yeah, post up in the live chat. Let us know what you guys think, and uh, we'll go through some of our sheets. Matt, do you have anything on your sheets? My, my sheets. <laughs> see the see the quickness of our intern. Yes, lightning fast. Give us an example of what you thought was good. Uh, there's a lot of 98s on here. <laughs> you have been paying uh, attention, right? Some, <laughs> this is a show we do every Monday night. <laughs> uh, somebody said the Dark Angel never let them down. Yeah, yeah. When is an Just angel like really? Me. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Is that on your profile? Never going to run around and That's desert like, you You know either. what? Screw you, Matt. You're in the same position. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hey, I deleted Tinder a while ago. <laughs> I'm not on Tinder. <laughs> All right. Um, Elliot, okay. Elliot Daddy in the I... live chat said spider. No. I don't mean to pick on you, dude. 
but Spider. Uh, I thought it did a tremendous um, amount for the game. It brought a lot of people in, Absolutely. and it was a cheap insert into the sport. But I wouldn't put them as the top. Oh, it was best. cheap, all right. Roger Weaver said Phenom, and I I would agree that Phenom was a good gun, but I think it was right, kind right. of a letdown after the progress of the ninety eight to the A five. And then the Phenom yeah. after that, I felt yeah. that it was a bit of a letdown. It was not phenomenal. It was not phenomenal. Was I'm, phenomenal. I'm not saying it wasn't <laughs> awesome. And Roger Weber, you need to turn your computer off and go sit in a closet. He says the Brass Eagle Talon. Come on, Roger. Bad Roger. Bad. What the hell's wrong with you, Roger? <laughs> no. <laughs> go eat a no. Boy Scout meat stick and just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Yeah. He's I been gluing some. too many team tags together. <laughs> Daniel Barney Alamo, the rental marker, probably the Tipman 98, and the Nell Spot 007 for him. Chris Pringle says that he needs a black light for his sheets. Yeah. I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's... Okay. Yeah, Spider taught the industry what not to do, says William Cox. I, I, you know, Spider no. was the best oh, yeah. marketing. Every paintball magazine, they were either on the front insert page or on the back of the that? magazine. And we talked to Ryan Greenspan about the Spider Cup, and he had ended up winning the two Mustangs because, yeah. was it Alex Frazier who wasn't old enough? One yes. of them. Yeah. he wasn't yeah. old enough to drive. Yeah. 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 So he just towed the other one around wherever he went just to show he had two cars. Yeah. What do you have, Joe? Anything interesting? Um, Matt Gregerson said you're all wrong to Tipman C3. Um, Tyler. No, Mac- Gavin Mac- and I were right. Uh, Tyler McLemore, this SMG 68. Um, all right. Someone said the Ego. Oh, Shock Tech um, Cocker. But I, I'm going Zap. to. I'm going to add my <laughs> my two cents, and it's gonna my two cents will go into about a quarter. I think the Nell Spot 007, then from there spawned a series of um, Nelson based markers: the the Bushmaster, then the Aerostar, then several other the Mark One Uzi. Several other of these all spawned with the Nelson valve system. So without the ne- Nelson. 007 paintball would not be. Yeah. And Chris Backer, like everybody else, has started with a Sorry, Tipman 98, then an AGD, Palmer, WGP, and a Phantom. What a wow. big difference from a Model 98 to an AGD gun. Ah, Bill Barnes. Wow. Yeah. Bill Barnes, VF Autococker. Yes, Bill Barnes. Greg Hastings simply says, share bitches. Share bitches. Well, he's yeah. not wrong. <laughs> Hashtag share. You really going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Spelt it wrong. But. Yeah. I uh, shared. I got nothing to worry about. Ted Reed writes in the live uh, YouTube chat says Atomic Pickle. The Atomic Pickle Balls. No. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I'm looking for something that A5. I, I, we, we've already said it in the chat. I think Richie Rampage Santo said it. A5 was a machine. It was awesome. We didn't see a lot of them come back from our store. Uh, they were always... The only thing. The only reason why they were coming back to our store is because people wanted response triggers installed on them or they wanted aftermarket barrels. The A5 flatline was a huge so, thing. Yeah. To, I was uh, getting to this last week where we were talking about it. There was a year or two in paintball where if you went out to the field... Everybody had the A5. Yeah. And then the next year, the A5 Stealth came out with the car stock, the remote line, and the flat line. Everybody had one of those. That's the only time I've seen a big game change like yeah. that. With that many people just showing up with completely new markers. That's true. Everybody had one. Yeah. You well, know what? You're... That's what little Wolfie Critchlow started with an A5. I had one of the first A5s. Yeah. And it was an yeah. uh, incredible marker. I loved it. I remember when it came out, it was like, wow, this is really complicated and way, way more than the, than the 98, but it really was. And it was just the sort of the cyclone feed. And then Josh is right. To, to that point, I forget that there was a summer or two where everybody had an A5. And then when Tipman released their little gun mat for the store and it showed the stealth and all these other upgrades for it. People would come in and be like, oh, you know, it's like, how much for that? And how much for yeah. that? And we were selling car stocks and flat lines and remote lines were like just flying off the shelves. Because companies were so happy. that would come in and upgrade like Spec Ops, Rufus Dog, you could squish, keep, oh, squishy Rufus paddles. Dog. You get the. Um, yeah. The but red I, front. That's like, what I missed. miss the day. Yeah. So fiddly bits, right? So everybody. There can are no fiddly bits no, anymore. No fiddly Why bits? no fiddly Why bits? No bits? Well, you guys haven't no been bits? spending enough time on Inception's Design's <laughs> website. Then. But I mean, it's you know what? It's 
everything out of the box right now is tournament ready, ready to go. Yeah. Right, and so you don't yeah. have to do anything. And but have, I miss those days. It's really fantastic. Do you guys it? realize if you're new to the sport that you used to walk into a paintball store and you would buy a paintball gun, and the next thing you'd have to buy is a tank, a bottom line adapter to plug your tank into your gun, yep. and some braided hose, yep. or a macro line if you had extra cash. Um, you just have to buy feed neck and if then you, you want a clamping one. That's right. And then you look at the gun and you go, okay, well, it's great, but the barrel needs to be updated because the barrel that came with the manufacturer is usually okay, but not great. Right. So then you'd upgrade the barrel. Then you'd come back and some of these guns you want to put regulators on because they didn't necessarily have them. I mean, mm-hmm. there were so many options. Now you buy such a great gun. Like you buy a planned Eclipse gun. You don't need to do anything to right. it. It's a beautiful piece of work and it's awesome. But there was something to be said for being able to can imagine if you could take your Planet Eclipse gun back into the store and say, uh, you know, hey, you know, Joe working at the counter, I love my gun, but is there any upgrades? And Joe says, oh, there's this, 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 this and this, right? That will automatically update it and upgrade it. And it would be your, you know, better barrel, better, whatever. Wouldn't you be interested in doing that? Absolutely. So you could purchase a $200 gun and Mm -hmm. everybody can use that same gun. But then you can customize it to a two thousand dollar gun with all your little fiddly bits. Like yeah. it depends on whatever you wanted to do, and there was such pride in that too, right? So yeah. people, which it was the the oogle factor. But that was Ooh, also back when done? paintball was in its prime. It was probably in some of the peak times in those years. Wouldn't you agree, Joe? I I agree. That's and like, I don't know if that has anything to do with. We're in the you know the two thousand five six seven era. We're talking. Yeah, yeah a, a five, two thousand. But people wanted to buy stuff they because yeah. it was easy to get into it. And there's a number of different small mom and pop shop companies who were able to eat an existence out in the paintball world. Versus now, it's like it, we're down in the states more cousins shops or cousin shops. Yeah, but but we're saying <laughs> same difference. Like there, was, there was a number of different manufacturers who just did, like I said, fiddly bits. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. And you can't. I mean, there's. Yeah, I mean, that, 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 that day's long ago. And yes, you could argue the TMC, let's say, you can buy stocks and sights and scopes and stuff. But none of that really increases the the performance, really, if you will. No. Well, let's keep going here. You guys have a couple yeah. more couple um, more things. Archangel Michael writes in and says, any marker with a f- blue flame drop forward? <laughs> no. Oh, the flame drop forwards. Oh, they need to make a comeback. That'll they better go, any gun. Go put one Absolutely. on my A5. I don't care if you got an MG100. If you where, put a, where, where's that exalt flame uh, drop forward necklace? That's here. That was a 3D printed yeah, one. It's around, it's around the studio somewhere. Joe, right. Joe it's keeps it in bag. that cooler. Okay, Joe had, no, Joe seat. has a tickle trunk beside <laughs> his <laughs> chair. It's the exalt. It's the exalt cooler. The I paintball know. bag. Cooler. I have scars. <laughs> and when he doesn't pull out puppets, <laughs> not puppets. All right, John Jones says uh, the I, LV1. He was lucky enough to play with the Sandbaggers, and he took that through its first tournament. It was epic. So the LV1 for him. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I do have a lot in here for uh, air gun designs. Yeah. I, that, yeah. that would be my my vote. Which I have to say, I think entirely all on their own, we're ahead of their time. See, I the think... The fact that it was single tube, yeah, all combined into one, you could put high pressure through it, still get good shots and good results for him. Right. That is still not done today. I think with AGD, I think Autococker was the better platform, but it had too much of a screw with factor, and that's why I think AGD supersedes Autococker for the fact that they're fuss no muss. It was like their guns Ford always when they worked. brought out the GT40 in there uh, going up against Ferrari. <laughs> I haven't seen it. Don't give it away. All right, and Kevin uh, Kuzmiak. Ford came in first, second, and third place. Kevin Kuzmiak in uh, the YouTube land says, don't forget the amazing Rainmaker. I have a Rainmaker fully uh. auto. There is a laughing emoji there. <laughs> Good. <Yeah>. Good. <laughs> Good. We won't yeah, even I'm talk like... about the angel. Oh, yes. <laughs> I mean, the uh, the evil omen, rather. Look at that. Out of the tickle trunk. It smells oh, like broken childhood. Time since that came from Ed from Exalt, didn't it? It did, yeah. yeah. We opened Ed. up so many bottles with that, it stopped working. <laughs> Look at I that. also have my... Yeah, um, boy. Name the company that sold more drop forwards than anybody else. Oh, um, not... CP? CP? CP. I'm Your thinking energy. CP, but in all Shock honesty, tech. it's probably going to be yeah, I have my Extreme Joe, Rage. Hey, my Joe Wolf is in the studio. My Joe, Wolf, <laughs> my Joe and Wolf action figure. I pity figure. the fool who doesn't pity wear fool. a desert cam. Yeah, my Joe and Wolf action When have you heard Wolf say, I pity the fool? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh boy, have we milked this segment or are we? A little bit, yeah. yeah. There's a, there's a are few we more. Answer, I do, appre- like, yeah, I do appreciate we... people. Yeah, uh, I, I would like your in. opinion actually. Oh, one no. four. I would like to just say Kyle Baker with the picture. Uh, he can make a strong case for lots of guns that aren't the ATS, but you'd be wrong. The ATS was his, and I wish you guys could see that or you could bring it up. On. I can't. That was yeah. the original mag bed. Uh, oh, the ATS. Yeah. Ni- oh, yeah, Ni- yeah. Remember Nigel McGrath? He had Nigel. One of the- Nigel McGrath had one of those things. Yeah, they were Stop fantastic. It. Yep. Yeah. Because it had mm-hmm. a little chain inside the mag. It was, oh, yeah. It and was you could like see a, the, you could, yeah, you could see the paintballs. Anyway, anyway, it was an exceptional marker. Ahead of its time. Ahead of its time, oh. my friends. Right. I'm Everything's you, ahead of its time. I'm going to give you four of my choices, and you guys can fill in and chime with yours. Because I think that these four are probably, I, I don't think I could choose between one. But I think the A5 we talked about. I think the Ego 8. I think the Axe marker as well. Because the axe, despite the fact that it's a ridiculed marker, it is probably one of the most tied, tied, tried, tested, and true markers that works all the time. And then I'm going to throw a hopper in here because I, I, I know it's a hopper, not a gun, but the halo. The halo was the truest, consistent loader that there ever was. False. No. Revy. Revy. No, I think they, Revy. Okay, what? but the halo, the halo sold way more than the Revy's ever did. Reloader B. Nah. What? what? I said no. I, I hate you guys. <laughs> can you hear? Can you hear slight yelling of Dion yelling, Eggy? The reloader B. Yeah. But, but the Halo Sound was the best. It, slow- whatever. Cheap. Nah. You know what? Screw. It. I hate. Why do I even show up? I hate this show. I hate you guys. I don't have syphilis. Yeah. Matt, yeah, mute so, Gavin's mute mic. Don't be so hateful. I'm surprised that you're upset about the syphilis comment, and not the comment I made about you eating Twix with your bare hands. <laughs> I do okay. use a knife and fork. Sometimes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Gavin comes to the show, and just before we go on air, he brings out his little royal chinette plate <laughs> and his Twix bar, and he eats it with a plastic knife and fork. He's very lotty. Because it's the only one with the cookie crunch. That's right. All right. Well, why don't we move forward, ladies and gentlemen? Sure, we, you're the uh, only one that answered. Let's go on. Okay. <laughs> I answered. <laughs> I, I said the no spot. Oh, man. <sighs> and then I will further with the autococker. The All right. BF tactical. I'll take this call, and you guys uh, you guys continue <laughs> on then. Uh, I already said it. AGD. Uh, the automag for sure. Are we talking about the greatest marker ever made? You're the one who wanted to answer the damn question. Yes. I don't even know what the topic is. Uh, best mar- I would say not the best marker ever made. Yes, I would say. The, the best th- marker ever made yes. has to be. The Inception's Design Predator Cocker. I have never shot a marker that felt and shot I like that disagree. in my entire life. <laughs> Matt, Is this Matt? Matt had a toy. Sorry, Matt. I completely is forgot. Until good now. for you. But before you open it, what sorry, does it I haven't s- washed my hands. What does it say <laughs> on the outside of the case, by the Inception. way? Inception. No, other side. Oh, other side? Oh. Number eight. R.I.P. F.L.E. Fire. Simon. And he, oh, he, and he I, autographed he it. Autographed it. Signed it. I, I don't know if I can watch this. <laughs> I have to look away. Avert your eyes. I'm not I'm worthy. Like, I'm thirsty and nervous at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt, the crypto producer here, ordered. This a, was actually uh, in Simon's hands. Yes. Probably. Yeah. And he used his autograph pen. Oh my goodness. Look at the color on that. I, I can't. Yeah, the Yano turned out great. Oh, that's gorgeous. Do we have tissues? <laughs> Give me a tissue. Look at look look at the color. It's aluminium. That pops. I that's think I'm gonna ruin your couch. Bukaki ruined my carpet. Yeah. Yeah, what goes on in your house during the day? <laughs> <laughs> he rents it out. It's a beautiful Oh thing my god. While, while, jo- while he's ogling that, Joey, what did you say is the number one? You had said the. I, I sort of went on about the Nell spot and talked about how it, it spawned a, a bunch of Nelson based um, valve valve markers like the Aerostar mm-hmm. Eliminator, okay. the Assassinator, the Bushmaster. But forget legacy. What's the best built gun that you think I has think ever come through? I think my VF Tactical was pretty solid. Having said that, it was an attractive marker. It functioned well, but when it went down, that's it. It's down and out. Yeah, there, When's the last time you've seen an AGD uh, classic automag that's gone down forever? 
No. Not ever. E- no. Yeah. And the only reason why the auto ma- or the auto cockers are going down is because the lack of parts. There's so many different three ways, so many different durometers of, of so O-rings. They, and, and they only went down when people started messing with them. Going really? down three ways? Oh, college, my gosh. Back in your college so, days. I need to talk about this for a second. In here is the spring kit for your velocity and stuff, and I believe that is a spring kit for your trigger. I believe so. Yeah. So you can adjust the trigger pull and the feel on this thing. Oh. Holy... Oh, uh, this is too much. Yep, I need yep. a cigarette. Oh my! That is good for you, beautiful. Matthew. Well done. I Who needs do to retire? Anything. You don't. You don't need an RSP. My goodness! It's, it's pretty. I shot it. I, I shot the sheriff. Wow! It's snappy. It's really. Oh, that triggers. Oh. Here, pass that down to Gavin. I no, I can't. <laughs> I'm not worthy. Flip your phone around so when you drool, it doesn't go. I in am the not worth. Oh, Would that Matthew. almost be Rasta color? I think it's more tequila. Rasta is uh, the Jamaican. It flag. would be green, and if it was Rasta, yeah. yes, right? This is a tequila sunrise, if you will. Yes. Just another tequila sunrise. That is amazing. Shh, it's my song. <laughs> wow. Desperado. 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 <laughs> but I want Witchy Woman to be our song. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's what we're going to do. We have uh, only about five more minutes left. Uh, we are done with our topic. We did our team feature prices right. We did all of our uh, housekeeping prices right we could do, but we don't have enough time, so I'm going to leave that. So we just have some shoot-the-shit time until we're done here. Cool. So paintball extravaganza here, guys. So this is what's going to happen. Gavin, you want to pass that back? So yeah. next show on monday we won't be in the studio we're actually going to be in memphis (laughs) tennessee and we're going to do a live show from either gavin's plush penthouse or from the lobby we haven't decided we'll figure out what's happening maybe we'll try to do it preemptively from the show floor that would be the coolest um and then on wednesday night next week guys we're going to have a special show and uh, it is from the show floor of the Paintball Extravaganza. We're going to show you guys all the new great stuff that has come out from Extravaganza and talk to some of the people there. We'll probably have Greg on and a couple other people, so we always do that. That'll be great. And uh, if you don't get a chance to see it on Wednesday, we're going to re-air that on uh, the following Monday or the Monday after, so just so you guys get a chance to see that as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I know that uh, Joe's got me stoked on some chicken skin sandwiches. Yes, um, Gus's fried chicken. Yeah, yeah. I'm very excited about not leaving at 3.30 in the morning. Isn't that great? We get, What time is our flight? Flight's like 2.40 in the afternoon or something like that. Yeah. So we're going to leave at like 11 in the morning. Yeah, it'll be all we'll right. We'll be able to say hi to the mailman. and then, Saunter. We can saunter through the airport. And we don't have to eat crappy bagel breakfasts. I like bagel breakfasts. I like bagel breakfasts. <laughs> Uh, I used to work for the Bagel Boss. Oh, not the Bagel Boss. Uh, what, now, what was H&H. The, H&H. H&H. Bagels. Am I able to transport my Vegemite Aren't across the border? Like or or no, is that a food-based product? Yeah. yeah. But, but is it, it's yeast-based, isn't George it? George says you'll see a Monday and Wednesday. What about Tuesday? And Thursday. Are you just going to ignore us on Tuesday and Thursday? Uh, no. In, Don't make eye contact. <laughs> in their hotel suite is going on for Tuesday and Thursday, the Letter Kenny Marathon. Oh, okay. ah, very nice. Yeah. As so, well as all dressed chips. Yes, oh, Rick, yes, Rick Chard. Yes, Rick Chard. There's going to yes, be, a be a Monday show, show at Extravaganza. You shouldn't have told him because it was going to be a Rick Chard fan based show. I had and murals. nobody would tune in. <laughs> yeah. No, we're, we're since we're there anyways, we thought, you know what? Let's do a show from uh, Extravaganza. We have uh, we have stuff to go through and show, so why don't we do that? And then we could talk about all the uh, rumors that we know of uh, products that are coming out. And that way, in case there's anything that happens on Monday, I know there's some uh, some seminars and stuff happening already on Monday at Extravaganza that we can probably talk about that as well. And one of the highlights I know for Joe that week is uh, they're talking about all the fields that have been open for longer than thirty years. Thirty five. They're going to recognize. Yes. Nothing, Kevin? Put Nothing. some respect on that name. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there you go. Um, yeah. So, then we're going to we'll do our show Monday night. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll hover about the floor, capture some great stuff for you guys. And then on Wednesday night, we'll do our live show from the floor. And I will warn you, that show might get a little messy. Likely. Um, as it always does historically. So, historically. If, if you... 
don't want to tune in after a certain point. Especially because Greg isn't broken this year. I guarantee we're going to lose a lot of sponsors. Yeah. You know what? We're going to be off the Christian (laughs) radio station. It'll be (laughs) No, Gavin, we can't lose them. They'll all be there. That's true. We can wrangle them. And our job is question, or he's he thinks that my Benjamite might count as a biological weapon. So, yeah, have you no, tasted no it? Of course, That's it does. After you eat it, in about an hour and a half after. Yeah. All right, so here's what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys are watching us on Facebook, we're gonna tell you to beat it. If you are listening to us on the RTF uh, <laughs> Sports Network, we're gonna tell you to beat it. And uh, if you want to hear us. Uh, continue on. We're going to go for uh, a few more minutes. We're going to go do our after show. That's only available on YouTube Live and on our podcast. So, guys, check that out. So, Gavin, thanks for being on the show tonight. Wonderful to be here, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. And make sure you check us out next Monday and Wednesday for Extravaganza. That year in view. And, Joe, thank you for being on the show. Thanks very much for having me. We'll see everybody next week from Memphis. And, Josh. Yes, thank you for watching. As always, we look forward to uh, seeing you guys in the chat in Memphis. And uh, special thanks to everybody who liked and shared. A little bit of a less specialer to anyone who liked or shared, and to the rest of you, Ooh, you're you, dead man. to us. Yeah, Matt's on the on board with all these uh, these graphic overlays. And thank you guys. We're going to let you guys go, but if you want to continue to listen to if you want to continue to watch, head on over to our uh, YouTube channel or listen to us and download us on our podcast. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. Don't be a freeloader. If you liked what you hear, make sure to hit the share button below. Also follow us on our social media outlets like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, ICQ, and now MySpace. If you want to join the conversation, post your comments and we might read them on the show. Okay, well, let's do it. We'll, we'll plan on doing that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. If you guys are listening to us, you're listening to us on our podcast or you're listening to us live on our Facebook channel. Uh, YouTube, you. right? YouTube, you're right. Yeah, YouTube. So. YouTube. Um, don't you? ever correct me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, you're absolutely right. So, Gavin, this will be your very first. It will, yeah. So, like, yeah, it's the like I said, we were referencing over the last few months. Uh, the ankle bracelet is off, so I'm looking forward to the shenanigans that is uh, known as paintball extravaganza. Not only is going to be informative, innovative. Uh, we're going to connect with some really great people and have some great interviews and show some, hopefully, some new cutting-edge products that are coming out as well. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. And to be honest with you, all new products and cool things aside, it'll just be nice to see all of our paintball friends that we only see family. a couple of times a year. Family. Family. All right, yeah. you, don't, you don't... When you're here, your family, that has been sold. That's no longer a... What is it? Olive Garden phrase? I don't know. Yeah, it used to be Olive Garden. I wasn't paying attention to what you were saying, but... Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Gavin. So what are you looking forward to, though, Todd? I'm looking forward to the bar. <laughs> I'm looking forward to potential of new meals. And uh, I'm Ooh, looking the for- meals. The meals. <laughs> the meals, Jerry. And I'm just looking forward to just kind of being around all my paintball friends for a little while. I, I'm, I, I, it, it, <laughs> I was brushing my teeth this morning. And I was thinking Finally. that, hey, I'm only a week away from extravagant. Well, every Monday I brush them. And I was looking <laughs> forward to extravagance, and I'm thinking, okay, this will be cool. And I'm thinking, oh, we're not going to Washington. I was kind of looking forward to seeing like the nation's capital again. It's kind of that time of year when yeah, it's yeah. cold outside, and you're, you know, you could see Josh feel the cold breeze through his beard when we were walking past the Capitol building, that sort of thing, and going to some of the favorite restaurants down there. But we're Jackson's. not going to do that. So I kind of got sad about it. With but apologies to Jackson. But it's currently 7 degrees in Memphis right now. Yeah, a little the, cloudy. The weather's going to be 12, 14 it degrees. It was 11 there. degrees nice. today at noon. So I'm excited. I, I, I've i never... Joe's been to Memphis. I haven't. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. Joe speaks highly of it. So maybe it'll be a... I was you know, walking Joe speaks on highly of anywhere where he can get food. Oh. Joe was walking in Memphis. <laughs> That's All right, good. I got it. <laughs> I was just killed Priscilla, the show. Was Priscilla Presley when they got married? Was, was she underage? I'm, I know I'm thinking Jerry, Jerry Lee, Lee Lewis, but but was that an no, Elvis I, thing too? I don't, I don't think, think so. so. Okay, and he, she wasn't related in any way. No, you're mixing up all these stories. Okay, no, that's fine. When, when we went, sure. when we went for our tour of Graceland, didn't he die in an airplane? Yes. With a bunch of other people. <laughs> Not by the John, when we went when we went for our tour of Graceland, John Stamos narrates this thing, and you're given an iPad. You walk around Graceland, and you've got earbuds. Whoa. And, w- hey, earbuds don't, and, don't mess with he, me, too. He, are, you, he, are you telling me it's John Stamos actually? Stom, John Stamos actually narrates <laughs> narrates this this 
this got trip, it right though, didn't I? This trip to <laughs> Graceland that you w- carry an iPad and it, it, he talks as you walk through. Now that was he, a few years ago when he actually had work. I'm sure you can actually get him to take you. <laughs> you take yeah, him now he does personal yeah. tours. <laughs> he does personal tours. But Should, anyway, shouldn't even holding an eight track. They, they would talk, they, the road out in front of Graceland. He would talk about how Elvis and his friends would drive up and down the road in their go karts and lawnmowers and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but otherwise, we don't need to go there. We'll just go to the um, he still civil has nice rights, hair, rights Museum. We'll go yeah, to the no, Civil Rights that. Museum. That'll be cool. There's some merch there that I want to pick up. Well, well, yeah, but, but his okay. girlfriend's going to jail. So I asked Joe that yesterday because, to be honest with you, we've been to the Smithsonian's. And the Smithsonian in the air and stay space, I've never been to a better museum. Even when Josh and Matt and I were down in or- uh, Oregon, we went to – it was a private museum, an air museum, it was, was okay. called. It was It was good. But it wasn't quite as good as the... Yeah, but it didn't have this... It didn't have this... But now we're going to something that has nothing to do with aeronautical, has nothing to do with space and science. It's all about... Blues. I don't know. Will it be as good? I don't know. It's, I, I would like to go we're, back and We are know. taking Joe, so we will find some type of military history museum. Yeah, that's true. But or yeah. or maybe he's doing this because there's a... If you, um, oh, it's if, like the great movie ride at Disney that I you, you guys go if on. If you lead Joe out into the middle of the street and just leave him by himself, he actually naturally just starts walking to the closest military history museum. Or army so surplus. I'm excited. I was going to say, there's an army yeah. surplus store. It, if, it has I'm to not be ex- if I'm not exhausted because of all of the learnings that are going on <laughs> during the extravaganza, <laughs> I'm excited about even hitting some dive bar to listen to some incredible music. They don't have that. And don't, for- <laughs> and don't forget the standard. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> But you know, music in Memphis. We're by the airport. But you have musicians from around the world who all sort of congregate to Memphis. It is Uh, so. You you have blues blues, capital. So you have blues. You have country. uh, So there's there's some incredible musicians who are just playing like the house band. Uh, So I'm looking forward to some of that. I want Gavin to come home with some twang. If um, you don't buy a banjo and use that as a carry-on, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> I can use the banjo as a bindle <laughs> with hotel sheets. <laughs> with There's my, some my army wares. surplus stores in Memphis, Gavin. I just Googled it. I'm sure there is. Well, let's go. There better be. There is a National Military Museum, too. Is there? Huh. Uh, don't get them excited. So not once are we talking about what are we excited about we're learning about extravaganza. It's like, what can we sightsee while we're there? That's typically what our conversation and is. And where we're going to eat. Because we're going we're gonna to be so ensconced in paintball extravaganza goodness. And we're going to have two shows that revolving around. It'll be nice to sort of wrap our head around something else while we're down there. And we don't, like, why else are we going to be down in Memphis? We, or wow, we might as well do something. And if we could see Arkansas, at least the Mississippi, well, we're I'd gonna, be excited about that. Well, On got, the way to the airport, want, guys, they have the largest ball of twine as well I'd like to stop by and see. Don't ruin it. You're ruining my whole vacation. <laughs> Josh wants to go to the Bass Pro Shop that's in the Pyramid, and that's right on the bank of the Mississippi. Is it? Yes. I would like, yeah, so I would like to see the Mississippi. And see Arkansas. I'd like to see Tom Sawyer making his way down. i just like to drown I, one I, of you in the Mississippi. I, just I actually <laughs> could be me. Please. <laughs> my I lifelong actually, dream to die in the Mississippi. <laughs> Or drown at least once. <laughs> just once. Come on, Gavin. Drown just once, would you? I, d- I actually don't want to go to the Bass Pro Shop down there because oh, I, I do. do not want to see all the stuff that we could purchase but cannot bring home. Yeah, that's true. That will bother me. Okay, we won't. Like slaves? Oh. Well, you Jesus, could, you could, I don't Jesus. think they sell slaves at the Bass Pro not Shop. Not the Civil Rights Museum? Any complaint emails. If you like, we'll just send us a show. I thought that's why we were going to the Civil Rights Museum. I'm not getting past the border. <laughs> not tonight. I want to go to the Civil Rights Museum, and I want to find a T-shirt that says, I went on the Underground Railroad, and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. <laughs> but I am excited about uh, the merch there. I was saying I was looking online, so they have uh, a number of T-shirts that I'd like to pick up and uh, some nice. wares that I'd like to get. Nice. The, 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 the Civil Rights Museum is actually, when you walk in, you're, you're on sort of the, uh, the ground floor, and it, it starts with sort of the the history, the slaves in Africa being brought over. But then as you walk through, and you're, it's going through chronological order, but you're slowly going up and you don't realize it. And, and you're sort of looping around. And eventually you don't give it away. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you telling us? Don't give this? us away the ending. Doesn't know what to say about it. But anyway, so you walk, you walk all the way through, and you end up 
you end up in the um, the hotel where Martin Luther King was assassinated. Really? And then you can walk across the road to the rooming house where they allegedly shot him. And there's a whole history of the wow. rooming house and displays and stuff. It's pretty neat. And Canadian passports with some Canadian links. And well, Rick Chart says the Rock and Soul Museum is owned by the Smithsonian and is interesting. That's cool. And he said also go to Beale Street for music and food. What we're gonna what we're gonna probably do is go out for dinner, ply Gavin with lots of shots, then let him pass out at back at the hotel, and then we'll go out because it'll be one che- it'll be cheaper on the it'll Uber, be cheaper and <laughs> far more fun than me bringing your party down. Yeah, you won't insult any cowboys. Was that I'm, Eric? I keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so was that Eric that said that or Rick? Rick. Rick. Rick oh, sorry. Okay. No, it's, it's it's gonna be an exciting trip. Uh, not only for the tourist trap stuff, but I think just paintball in general. And they, as you said, Todd. I'm really looking forward to seeing people that we only see maybe once a year or every few years. Yeah. So I didn't get a Florida snow globe last time I went down, so I'd like to see if Memphis has one. I have to get the boys a Memphis snow globe and make a shot glass from wherever we go. Yeah. So, so there like, you go. Like just stealing glasses from no, establishments? Like oh. Yeah, the thought is not the purchasing. <laughs> <laughs> stealing because yeah, it's, it's worth more, rush. right? Because <laughs> I want to steal something and get put in jail. <laughs> That's a good idea. Either way, I'll rat you out so I can, I can slip out the back door. Yeah. The only thing that we need to do preemptively, Gavin, is I do need your credit card just so that we can start a tap for Wednesday night <laughs> yeah, show. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Josh fell for that two years ago, and he's still upset about it. Wait, sorry, which one? I was, I'm, on the, I'm on the gift shop of the Civil Rights Museum now. <sighs> sorry, I got distracted. That's okay. What did I get distracted by? Um, nothing. I think we're done. No, tell me. I don't want to have to re-listen to the whole episode. <laughs> no, you got to re-listen right Nobody to the last to. minute. Oh, you can't fast forward either. Guys, thank you very much for listening. Next time you hear us, we will be live in Memphis, Memphis uh, at sleep. Paintball Extravaganza. Sure, uh, hopefully, Gavin was able to get on the uh, the flight past the TSA checklist. Something about no fly list. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Yeah. By the way, you're lining up not with us. <laughs> <laughs> Good call. Matt and Josh, Joe and I, we've all traveled together, so we know we'll kind of get through, but you're, you're going to kind of ha- like, you can go you're in front of us going. if you want. No, you don't, just don't, don't hang back, boys. Us. Don't hang back. Yeah. It's we'll, actually a little known fact that when you travel with Todd, if he gets through security before you do, he turns around, gives it the double barrel middle fingers, and goes, see you later, fuckers. And then takes off. <laughs> I believe he says, he literally runs to the I next believe he point. says, suck it, terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> and he yeah. leaves. No, in all honesty, we have a gentleman's agreement because if there's anything wrong with you at Customs Gavin, it's we'll meet you at the gate. You're on your own. We'll meet you at the gate. Y'all know your gate. Yep. <laughs> we'll meet you at the gate. Y'all know Dude, your Once guy. you're at the airport and you got your ticket, you're on your own. <laughs> little game of knife and spoonie. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> little game of interrogation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Any farewell words? Or are we good? I nah. think we're good. All right, we're beat good. it. See you Monday. See you-